everyone, it's Sherry, and today I wanted to do a quick little video on a cloth and paper haul. Um, it is also, unfortunately, my entire collection so far. And I say unfortunately because I've really been getting into the minimal planning and the simple look. I do still like my deco, and I put that into my stay-at-home planner, but for the most part, my pocket rings and my work planner are all pretty minimal and simple type of planning. However, I do use all these cloth and paper items in my at-home planner as well. So you will see before we get into this that I've already started using a lot of these, not a lot, but some of these products simply because I could not wait. Um, I was super excited when I received all of this. Uh, so I went ahead and started using it. However, I did want to get on here and show you everything that I purchased um, within the last couple of weeks. Anyway, so let's get started. Before we get into all of the items I've purchased, I do want to show you the freebies that came with the order. So the first thing I received is this journaling card. And I believe this journaling card, this uh, spiral book here is an item in her um, cloth and paper, which I would I want to say the owner is Ashley. It's in her shop. So I want to say on Instagram, she posted a few days ago that there's not many of these left. So when you are watching this, if you're interested in this, I would head out straight to the cloth and paper website because she may either be really low on stock or... Um, have run out. So get out there and uh, purchase your spiral planner. I do not personally have this. And to be honest with you, I am not a fan of spiral planners simply because it's too restrictive. I tried the Erin Condren for, I want to say about three years. And you will notice that in my planner stack, my planner system, if you go back to my previous video, I did not include an Erin Condren this year just because I felt it was too restrictive with the dates, I couldn't really interchange things. So I am 100% either ring bound or disc bound just because I feel like it's a lot more customizable and it allows me some flexibility. Anyway, so behind this, she just has um, her thank you for purchasing and a coupon code, which I won't share because I'm not sure if we're allowed to, especially for, um, uh, just for the general public, I want to say this is for uh, folks that purchased and I don't want to give that out if that is not her intent. Anyway, so then she included this cute, ooh, you can barely see that. It is a, um, it's kind of like a beige card and on it, I won't show you because you can't, you can barely see that. Let me see if it focuses. Anyway, let me read it to you. It said, reminder, you are allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress at the same time, Ashley. And there's nothing on the other side, but I will be including this because that's a great reminder uh, to have at the forefront of your mind. All right, and the last thing I have here, another one of these little cards that she included. And the quote here says, Let's, let your experiences be your coach. Uh, and I'm assuming the uh, author of this quote is Tabitha Brown. All right, the last freebie I got is this uh, page flag, this transparent page, uh, page flag. It says limited edition. I don't know what the color is. It is very close to, if not the same as this other page flag called Dusk. Um, but it was a freebie. If you had purchased that particular day, then you got this freebie. All right, since we were on page flags, that's a perfect segue into the only two that I have, but I will be purchasing more. Um, the first one is Dusk, as I just showed you, and it's this really pretty pastel pinky color. Um, I am so into this. I've been into this color for years and years, but for some reason, I've been in this color, into this color for the last year. And then the last one you have here is Bellini, and it is kind of like this, not quite terracotta, but it is mocha, light brown color, um, really pretty brown. I love it. It's almost kind of like a pinky brown, if you will. Um, 
almost matches my nails. And it's funny because my nails is the Rossi Dip Powder um, in the color Dusk. And I will be doing my um, Rossi Dip Powder collection as my next video. If you um, noticed, and, and, I, and I'm not sure if I noted this in my last video, I used to be called Future Plans and Crafts, and I changed that because I felt it was very restrictive to just planning, and I'm into so much more. So um, I'm into makeup, nails, uh, crafts, planning, organization, so much more. So I just changed my channel name to Sherry Lee so that it allows me um, a wider aperture of videos and content that I can put up on this channel. Anyway, so those are my two page flags. Okay, so for my sticky notes, these ones here are not transparent. And bear with me with the color here. I will try to see what I can do to um, improve the color because it is not true to the actual um, color itself. And I do have box lighting here, um, so it kind of washes it out a little bit. Anyway, so this one here is kind of almost kind of like a warm very light gray it's called oh I don't know what it's ecru and it is three by three sticky notepad then I have cotton which I think is a very very popular color this is a very pale pink color but it is not showing up this lighting is not doing this justice is very very pale the next one is called linen beautiful color then the next one is called nude I really love this color I want to get this in the transparent sticky notes I want to say they have nude and transparent and then you have last but not least very dusty pinky color called rose and these are my three by three uh, sticky notes All right, so we'll go ahead and get into the transparent 3x3 sticky notes. And the first one here is called Rose. You'll see in comparison, they're totally different. Uh, this is the transparent. This is the regular sticky notes. And both the names are Rose, but you can see there's a stark difference in between the transparent and the regular sticky note. This one is called Dusk, and as compared to the page flag, let's see. Even those two colors are different. So this one here is more pinky, I would say. And let me get a little closer there. This one seems a little bit more warmer brown color. And I do not have that in, nope, I don't have it in the regular sticky notes. And this one, I love this color. This is Cappuccino, and I think it's the name is perfect for this color. And then the last one I have here is Ash. I will be purchasing the page flag. It's currently carded right now. And when I get that in, I will be sure to do a side-by-side -side comparison like I did with the uh, dust color. All right, and so for the last thing of sticky notes, I just got these white sticky notes and I was inspired to get these by Maddie Plants. She has a YouTube channel and as well as an Instagram. Her aesthetics on her account is absolutely beautiful. And so I was watching a video of hers and um, she had talked about how much she loves just this white with the black lettering um, sticky notes. And so I really love that. And I'm gonna use a lot of these for work mostly. Um, but yeah, so I got two of the urgent two of the to do's and you will see there is the bubble to do list here and then last but not least the memo and these are not um, transparent well they're white so they're not transparent and then last but not least we'll get into my stickers so 
I apologize in advance. I dropped some food on one of them. And so I'm really mad about that because there's like oils right there on that one. So again, like I told you, I already started using these for the most part. Majority of those I haven't used yet, but I will say I have been using the day dots like crazy. So I'm going to have to stock up on these pretty soon. All right. So for the cotton dots or for the dots, the first one I have here is cotton. And I want to say it is more, it is closer to the, no, I don't have, let's see. I do have the sticky notes here. And again, the colors are totally different in terms of side by side from the dots to the sticky notes. And I'm sure for the dots, these are transparent and they're on a different type of paper. So I don't know if you print and cut often, but depending on the type of paper, the color will show up differently based on how much saturation it can put on the type of paper. So I'm sure that plays a factor into it, but I just wanted to show you a side by side so that you saw that. All right, so this is cotton and another cotton. This one is Ibiza. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I love this color. I did get these and you will see in, um, as we go through the stickers that I got three, three different style of, or two different style of stickers in three different colors. Um, so you'll see some repetition here. Um, so this one is Ibiza. I want to say it's close to, let me see. Yeah, it's very close to nude for the, the sticker pad. And I'm going to try to go quickly here because my camera is yelling at me that it's getting ready to die. Another Ibiza. You have avant-garde on the circle dots. Another one. And that one's just black. I really love the black ones. This is cotton in the drops. More cotton. Ibiza in the drops, more Ibiza, avant-garde in the drops, and then I have another avant-garde. So that's it. Like I said, super quick video. Um, I just wanted to show you everything that I hauled recently, and I am going to be purchasing more. I did subscribe to her uh, monthly box and I'm super excited about that. I did subscribe after the sign up deadline. So I did not get the, I'm not getting the January, but I think she is sending me the, no, I'm not getting the December. However, I will get the January one in February. And that's all I have for you today. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for my next video, which is my Rossi dip nail or nail dip collection and if you are interested in my planner system please check out my previous video all right friends i'll talk to you later bye